Hi everyone, welcome back to Mario Maker Normal Levels. This time we have the one goal of the one screen by Vman776. Um, his actual request originally was 30 seconds, but it uh, the level was removed at some point, uh, possibly. Here's uh, the thing though, yeah, 30 seconds too. Uh, here's the thing. His uh, comment had a bunch of replies, at least eight, and I could not see it on my blog, so... I actually went through my Hotmail account to see the replies there. I've got 371. And I managed to find a code for this level, at, at least, thankfully. But, yeah, this is something I have to warn you all about. On my blog, I sometimes don't see the replies for some reason. It's it's kind of random. And I don't know how to make them to display them. So, my only option is to go through my uh, Hotmail account to see what the replies were over there. It's a little hard to search, but... That's what I do. So, got a bit lucky, Vman776. I might have ended up completely skipping your request. So yeah, a short one-screen level. And I think I already failed it, but yeah, that's okay. Uh, I was supposed to go to the left first. Right here. I need to get the bomb to get the P-switch. And we'll see what we'll do with the P-switch later. Actually, I could use the bomb up there, too. That's worth considering. Just trying to think here. Yeah, I was supposed to use the bomb up there, wasn't I? No, it's still not over. I can use it with the Koopa. Thank you. Better hurry. Um. Hmm. Another piece switch here. Well, I needed the bomb, obviously. But. Huh. There's only one bomb. That's the problem. And I need the bomb to get over here in the first place, don't I? It's quite the puzzle you've got here. How am I gonna solve it? Well, the bomb might have been hidden somewhere. Okay. Nope, that's not... I cannot throw a bomb up in this mode, I forgot. Oh, cool, it went up. It's nice to see it confirmed that there are, in fact, invisible blocks in the screen. Okay, so I've done this. I still need the P-switch, and I'm gonna have to press it as soon as I go down there. Oh, the bomb was right there! You guys saw it? It was in this... right here. Hmm. But how do I prevent the twomp, or the... The Womp, or however you say this thing's name, from destroying it. Actually, maybe I could use the The Womp to destroy uh, this type of block. Can I? Actually, I don't think I can, but... I'm still brainstorming here. I'm sorry if the so solution is obvious to be you people, but when you're playing a level, it's your brain is like uh, working at 50% normal rate. I believe I might have an idea. Like this! Okay. So now I'm gonna be able to spare the Koopa for a very short time. Or rather, I'm gonna have an opportunity to jump on it. And that will release the bomb, and then I'm not sure what next, but... Ah, jeez, I didn't mean to get hit, but... Yeah, I, I, I'm starting to see what I'm supposed to do here. I think. Well, that freed the bomb, but... Wasn't quite quick enough to pick it up. Wow, really? Come on, the f Koopa. 
Okay, I've been trying to solve this level for the past, let's say, 10 minutes. And the problem is that I, I believe I know the solution. It's just that the execution for that solution that I have in mind is way too harsh. It's like either what I'm thinking is the solution and it's really, really difficult, or there's an invisible block somewhere that has a bomb in it. Because otherwise, the only bomb I can use is the one in that block right there. And I have to somehow get rid of this without uh, having the Twomp uh, descend to completely uh, destroy that block. And here I can't really do it anymore. Because once this, if I do not uncover this block, I cannot no longer finish the level. And yeah, see right here. And uh, if I do go there, the Twomp comes down. And while the P-Switch effect is on, there's no, there's nothing blocking him. So I have to time it really, really properly. But even if I do that, even if I'm blocking in time, I have to hit, jump on the Koopa in a very tight spot, uncover the bomb, and grab it in time before the Twomp comes down again. All while going up there with the bomb that is probably activated because I jumped on it to grab it and throw it in at the spot where the end is in time. So this is no longer really a puzzle level to me. It's much too demanding execution-wise. Again, I could be missing something obvious, or not so obvious, but it stopped being a puzzle level once I figured out a solution. Okay, the bomb can walk down here. That is perfect. Yeah, can't actually do anything against me. So, what I want to do is use this P-switch to uncover all of this. And even this, let's say. Although it's a little too late for that, technically. Or not, actually. Hold on. Yeah, like this. Okay, passage is safely uncovered. Can use a safer way to bring the bomb to the end. That's how you solve this puzzle. Whatever, I got a hit, but I could take a hit. So that's how you solve this level. Kind of overcomplicated, but I feel the real problem is that the level of execution required once you figure out the solution is a little demanding. It's not impossible, but... Yeah, first clear. First person that figured it out. It's not impossible, but... Like, it stopped being a puzzle level there. I guess... I guess it, it doesn't, like, present itself as a puzzle level, but... Still. That's I, what I feel it should have been, maybe. Still, very well done. Patience is the Key by Alric. Or... Just Super Mario Maker on the blog. Let's just go. I, I, it took me quite a while to beat level number one, and I think this is going to be the last one of the day. Patience is the key, huh? Well, I missed out on that star up there. And... Oh, there's some coins here, and the mushroom over there. Hmm. Well, I can no longer... I can probably no longer beat this level. Yeah, cannot jump high enough. So, I think the... Yeah, <laughs> it was a trap, but still. I had to show. You can go up there, but... Yeah, the no blocks block your way. Okay, I think, I think I'm starting to get it now. You're not supposed to go for the obvious things. Correct? That's what I feel. Uh, you can wall jump. I almost forgot. Takes quite a while, but it's not impossible. Um, better not waste too much time. Fun! I don't believe. Uh, like he's gonna throw stuff, isn't he? Uh, no, 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 no! Ah, I wanted to jump on him. Yeah, I'm starting to feel you're supposed to do this with jumping, but spin jumping works too. It just takes longer. 
Okay, like two. Get yourself in position. Hop on your stupid head. Tain up here. No. Here, I'm basically gonna have to jump on a. Well, I'll let you know. I'm supposed to use this, correct? So I'm willing to guess. Um, actually, there's multiple passages I could choose here, and I chose the wrong one, apparently. Although that Koopa shell is eventually gonna break all those bricks. Guess I'm gonna wait. After all, patience is the key! Uh, well, I'm gonna get a ton of one-ups for my trouble. And I'm powered up now. Okay. Did I do the right thing? I don't believe I did, but... I think I might have skipped a sub-level, maybe. <laughs> Still, this was possible that way. I don't think it was unintentional. Yeah, not so bad. ID down there if you want to try this yourself. Uh, I think I have enough time for one more. Lava Maze by Johnny. According to the description left on the blog, Hey! Check out this one! I promise you will have fun. <sighs> I really want to sleep early tonight. I'll give it a try. Johnny. Of course it's going to be super strict uh, wall jumping at the beginning. What else could it be? Like, it's called Lava Maze, but I don't think it's going to be that much of a maze, if you know what I mean. Wow, how did I miss that one up? Jeez. wonder what this is for. Then again, this whole segment is kind of tedious. It's just a bunch of spin jumping. Precision spin jumping. Uh, the bullet bills are actually kind of dangerous with the Goombas here. Kind of ingenious. Hmm. Don't want to fall down too quickly. And a wiggler. Oh wow, are you serious? Uh, I'm kind of having second thoughts about uh, starting this level because... Uh, um, I'm not exactly in a happy mood anymore, so I feel I'm gonna be a bit more uh, harsh on this level when I. Wow, really? Well, okay. I feel I'm gonna be a bit more harsh on this level when I eventually get to the end, if I get to the end. Anyway, that P switch uh, was kind of dumb, but whatever. At least the power up is nice. It helps make stains a bit easier. Here, you just gotta run. Ugh! Jeez, come on, Mario. Just gotta run. Not that difficult. And I was supposed to spin jump right over there. Not... Not just jump. Whatever, I'll take my time here. Okay, that's something that I need. I can also carry one if I want to. Uh, but I cannot spin... I cannot... Well, yeah. I have to throw it. That's how you're supposed to do this. I'm gonna be careful here. Now you gotta wait. It's not too long, but it's not very fun at all. And you gotta do it here too? Okay, that's just really lame. Actually, if I had still had, had the P-Switch, this would be much easier, but alas, I do not. Mm, can I use these guys? No, I can't. Can I at least get rid of them? Okay, what next? Nothing too overly complex. Using this as a protection, by the way, against the bullet bills. It's definitely gonna help, I guarantee it. I have to make sure I don't uh, get surprised by the Koopa itself, however. Okay, not so bad. 
almost got surprised by the Koopa. Yeah, this is right here why why those bullet bills are dangerous the way they're positioned. Don't want to die at the end. Jeez. Okay, cool. Midpoint. I really appreciate this midpoint. Thank you very much. And I know it sounds like tank. Sorry about that. I'm a French person. I really don't like how people keep mentioning that. Lots of people just keep over continuously mentioning stuff that's really obvious and that's already been pointed out in the comments section. It's probably one of the most aggravating things you can do to me. More so than just like leaving a hate comment. Actually, I can use those Koopas to perhaps break a sequence. And wow, that hammer brother, he really tried to snipe me right over there. Oh cool, Yoshi's over there. I'm gonna get myself a Yoshi! A stupid horse! Thank you. I also want to go up there, if I can. Yeah, cool. Match skip a whole segment. Helps a lot. Um, do I... Is there an invisible block? There better not be an invisible block. Oh, yeah, thank you. And also, Bowser Jr. is over there. Fancy meeting you here. It's too bad he's not very challenging. Okay, can I go straight to the end now? <laughs> it's right over here. That was a boss arena, by the way. Um, hmm. Well, I can fall down here. Just need to be a little careful. Cause I can't do this with Yoshi anymore. Okay, that was it. That was the beginning was kind of rough, but it got a little better after the midpoint. Heidi down there, if you want to try this yourself. Hope you've all enjoyed this video, and I hope y'all have a very nice day. Bye bye.